Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. Ooh. Okay, we got a bunch here. Wow. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the High Priestess. Um, your intuition is on point here, or it's trying to call out, basically, for you to listen to it. I'm not sure what's going on here. We'll see. Um, in the recent past, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords. <clears throat> okay, so someone's indecision here made things really hard to deal with. Uh, I see an energy kind of not knowing what to do. Should I go left? Should I go right? Where should I? I don't know. Um, but I feel like it lasted for a while to the point of making things very difficult and then um, just kind of bailing on the whole thing eventually because there was so much i don't know in the situation either this energy decided to just drop it all or the energy they were dealing with they were like you know what make up your mind i'm not here for this so i'm out you know so i don't know in the current situation the death card the king of cups the queen of cups Something's coming to an end here between two energies by the looks of it. There's definitely one of them is you, the other one, but there seems to be a match here. There seems to be love. So I don't know exactly what's ending here. We'll see. In the immediate future, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, there's healing being brought to the table for a particular situation of love, possibly. Um, and there's the desire to work on things. So, let's clarify. Let me clarify the High Priestess. My God, it's windy out. Really, really windy. So, um, let's see. For the High Priestess, you get the Page of Swords, the Judgment card, the Death card. There is something, there is something coming from that inner guidance that says this needs to stop. Now, for some reason, even though it's pointing out really hard in the direction of this connection is done, I don't see it as that. I see it as something tied up to the connection that needs to get done, uh, that needs to stop. I don't see the connection being in that place. But someone is definitely, and I feel like this is you, definitely being guided to... Take something out, take something from what you and somebody else have and just kind of, okay, this needs to stop right now. No idea what that is, but I kind of see you at the beginning of doing that, kind of starting that process of eliminating something. Um, so I don't know. Let's see. Let's see the Two of Pentacles in the recent past. Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Moon. Ooh. Okay, so there's a soul connection here. Is it given up singlehood? It, it kind of looks like, you know what I said in the beginning, that indecision, should I go left, should I go right? Uh, imagine that over on this side, there's this connection that you're recognizing as a soul connection. It's like, there it is, of course, I'm gonna go for it. On this other side, there's you, no connection, in plain sight, nothing, just you being your charming self, going out there and, you know, having fun. Um, that's the place where I can't decide if whether or not I should commit to this or should I stay over on this side, you know? So I feel like that lasted for quite some time there. Um, and again, I don't know if that's you, if that's somebody you're dealing with, but it made things pretty difficult to the point of somebody walking away, like, okay, 
and it could be even the one that couldn't make make up their mind you know the one that decided i've had enough here i'm just gonna i'm just gonna bail on this whole situation uh -huh. let's do the six of swords the nine of wands the nine of swords the temperance card my god this feels like it lasted forever this whole situation of up in the air about a particular decision almost because even when someone decided i've had enough i'm out uh, it was still a painful process you know it was still it wasn't like oh okay yeah, i'm out yeah i'm so happy happy me uh no not really it was a difficult decision to make because in the end that was a decision you know to abandon this whole state of being indecisive and but it's painful. It's a painful and lengthy process by the looks of it. There's a whole lot of up in the air there. Let's do the death card in the current situation. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. Yeah, as I said, I don't see something coming to an end. I see it being in that place of, oh, we're done today, but tomorrow, hey, what's up? You know, you want to start over or whatever whatever i i don't see it as a definite okay this splits right now this ends right now i still see it in that place of mm, neither here nor nor there but it hasn't gone anywhere and i feel like it's starting to shape up into um the direction of someone's disconnect from their own emotions that's where I feel like it's coming from. That's where I feel like it stood to begin with, but there was this period of time of unknown around why the hell am I doing this? I don't care, I'm just gonna do it and I'm just gonna keep the situation up in the air. Um, right now it's starting to go back into the heaviness of it and then kind of to the source of it, what's creating this heaviness, what's creating this indecision. Um, and again, I kind of see it going in the direction of someone not being connected to how they feel, basically. Uh, with the death card here, it could be good news. It could be that, okay, now that we figured out the source, this situation is coming to an end. The energy in this up in the air, not knowing, is coming to an end. This is going to shift into something else. So, okay, let's see the King of Cups. Seven of Swords, the Lovers, the Hangman. Okay. Kind of the same deal, but at a deeper level, at least. You know, it's that, that spot of, I identified where the problem is, now let me start working on it. And that work, especially if this has been dragging on for a very long time, uh, that work, that deeper work might take a little while longer here. Because I see someone recognizing why they keep on running, why they keep on pulling back, and that someone could be you. Um, oh, man, they're not going anywhere. That's the thing. Energetically, they're still stuck in this place. They're still um, tied up to whatever this other energy is. So that's the thing. Even though physically they're showing up all the time as, I'm out, bye. See you later. Um, they're not going anywhere. You know? And again, I kind of get the sense that this is you. But it could be them. I don't know. Let's do the Queen of Cups. Eight of Swords, the Tower, the Four of Pentacles. And this whole energy of... I'm out, but actually I'm not, but actually I don't know what to do about it, but uh, I kind of want this because I recognize this because it's strong, but then let me go away, but I'm still here, but here I am going. And, you know, this whole situation is going to create like a, 
a ripple effect. Like the other energy that's dealing with this, the way they're taking it is confusing as hell. It's like, what the hell is going on? You know? Um, and it's from this place of confusion for them, it's kind of backfiring for them in the sense that instead of taking it, running with it and just healing whatever is being brought out for them, uh, they're kind of taking it the opposite direction where it feels like it's, oh man, it's getting them stuck into their head and it feels almost impossible for them to get out of there. Um, and that place is a fear of indecision of all sorts of things that are uh, eventually not going to be healthy for them. But it's because they're responding to this energy like this, instead of just kind of taking it and just kind of taking it in and see what it does within, not from here. Not from here, because if they're responding from here, icky, and I see icky. And with the Four of Pentacles there, they're giving me the... They're giving me the sense that it's hard for them to, to get themselves out of this response to this. Um, now, nobody's necessarily resp responsible for this in the sense that if you are the one that's kind of creating this energy, you're not doing it for them to, to go through shit. You're doing it because you're doing it. You have your reasons, you have your own healing to do in regards to this. How they're responding to this, that's where they should be responsible to, to kind of take a look at it. Um, mm, man, it's nasty. Let's do the Four of Swords in the immediate future. And underneath all of these energies, there's a whole lot of love. You know, on your side, on their side. But things need to be healed. Something needs to be healed on both sides, individually, not together, individually. And then you put those energies that are healed together. Otherwise, whew, the circus is in town, energetically speaking. Um, Four of Swords in the immediate future. You get the Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords, the King of Cups. Okay, so you are healing. You are stepping into a place of healing, but from this place, you're like, you know what? This is a mess anyway. I'm just going to move on. I'm just, I, no, I'm just going to, it's too much of a mess for me to go in there and try to fix it. So we'll leave it there next. Um, but it's very confusing. This choice, this new found choice, it's, it's becoming very confusing because as I said, underneath it all, there's love and there still is. And there was to begin with. But it's covered by all of this, whatever this is, you know? Um, okay. Let's do the Ten of Cups. The Star, the Four of Swords, the Magician. Okay, so there's finally a, a clear path of healing here and someone figuring out exactly what it is that they want and sticking to it and manifesting it um so there's clarity coming to the table for someone now it could be you it could be them it could be the both of you where you're figuring out clearly what you want for yourself and from this place i feel like clarity is going to come out and it's going to freaking transmute these energies of uh, everything but clarity um so give yourself time Let's do the Eight of Pentacles in the immediate future. Aww. The Chariot, the Queen of Cups, the Empress. It's like you're in tandem. You're going through shit. They're responding with, oh, you're going through shit? Okay, I'll take that in and I'm gonna go through shit too. You're getting clear about what it is that you want. They show up in clarity just like that. It's like a... a immediate response to your energy shifting. I could say that's beautiful, especially when it's turning beautiful. <clears throat> but someone here, which in this case, you get to decide if it's you or them, uh, needs to heal their own whatever, independent of what you do. Because I see them reacting 
I see them reacting to what you're experiencing. And that's okay if you do, but don't take it as if it's yours because it's not. And now I'm talking to the cross watcher in case this is them. Um, <clears throat> if somebody's going through their own shit, that doesn't mean that I have to go through their shit. And that doesn't mean that I have to take their shit and clean it up for them. You know, it's theirs to deal with. And I kind of see a little bit of that going on here. Now, it could be working in the way of, okay, you're going through your own crap and that's bringing up in me my own crap. And I'm gonna take a look at that and thank you for that because I have the opportunity to heal it. Otherwise I wouldn't see it so clear, you know, without your help and your crap. But uh, it's not necessarily that that's going on here. It's a little bit of, oh, you're going through crap? Let me go through crap too because I'm affected by what you're going through. And I won't look at my crap because, you know, whatever, you're going, you're more important to you. Just do your thing. I'll suffer too right here with you so that, you know, you're not alone in this, which is bullshit. And then when you get into healing mode and then the energies shift into the, a whole different, more beautiful place, they're like, oh, life is beautiful again. And I'm like, where's the work you did to place you from crap into beautiful? Well, they did it. No, 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 no. You know, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, let's see what the universe has <clears throat> to close it off. Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands. It's a work in progress. Basically, it's, um, I do see someone trying their best to stay disconnected from how they feel, but it's coming through, it's coming through. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I don't really want to feel much during this period of time. I feel like, I just don't want to feel much. Um, but somehow, subconsciously, possibly, there's a push in the direction of, but you have to. In order to heal, you kind of have to. So it's like, it's working somehow with a little bit of resistance of I don't want to feel much, but overall there seems to be this progress and this um, work being done. So that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.